welcome back. This is Rachel from the Book Mavens with another unboxing for you. So this is the Bookish Box March YA box. And this is the full box that includes the t-shirt. So let's crack or open and see what we have. I did already um, undo the tape, obviously. So let's see what we got going on. So this does come with the t-shirt. So let's take a look at the shirt that was included. So we have got another one of their canvas shirts, which is always so nice. They wash really well. Uh, with the designs, I do suggest um, washing them inside out. Just the, um, they are um, screen printed, but it just lasts a little longer, the colors especially. So this says, I am the darkness between the stars. And it's from The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue from V.E. Schwab. Um, I do have another Addie LaRue shirt. I wore it in my last unboxing video that I did with my Watersons editions. It just has like the small um, quote on it, which I love. And I love The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. If you have not read that book, please do so. It's beautifully written, like pretty much everything V.E. Schwab or Victoria Schwab writes. But this is a great shirt. Look at how cute. And I love that they're doing these kind of neutral colors. Their palette for a long time was pretty much all black and I love black don't get me wrong goes with a lot of stuff but I really like seeing them do um some some more colors all right so here we have our March 2022 bookish box and shop um little pamphlet magazine in here and it's going to tell us about all of the items in here as well as the adult items which we haven't received yet and about the books and just what fandoms everything's from so let's take a peek here. So we have a beautiful art card here. Um, let me see what fandom this is from. I'm not super familiar with this one. I think it was Bookish Baddies was the um, was the theme. Okay. Oh, so this is Evangeline and Jack or Jax, isn't it Jax? Uh, from Once Upon a Broken Heart. I have not read that book yet. I did read the Caraval series. I didn't love it. Don't hate me. I know Caraval has like rabid fans. I just hate when people compare or compare uh, Caraval with the Night Circus. No, they're not the same. <laughs> they're not on the same level. And you guys know uh, from our previous videos that I love the Night Circus and I think Erin Morgenstern was just masterful and what she wrote in that book. Just beautifully written. Um, but uh, Caraval kind of lost me. I thought the first book was decent. I thought it was an interesting concept, but I just didn't love where it went. And the later books just got really kind of convoluted. There was a lot of kind of character assassination that happened that I didn't really love. But Jax is an interesting character in the book. So I am interested to read Once Upon uh, a Broken Heart, which is the first one. And I know that the sequel, The Ballad of Never After, is releasing soon. So, um, or at least in the next few months. So I'm definitely going to give it a shot. I do own a copy of uh, Once Upon a Broken Heart. I just haven't gotten there yet. So let's see what else we have in here. So we have our Book of the Month candles. So these are the horoscope line candles. Let's see what we got going on here. So you can see once again, they're sticking with the designs with the screw, screw cap lid. And then here we have Aries. And this is, um, ooh, I forget her name, but she's from, um, was it The Pirate King's Daughter? I think is what it's from. Let me look. Daughter of the Pirate King. I just flipped around the letters. Uh, yeah, it has Alasa Callaghan featured on there. So she must be the daughter of the Pirate King. So let's take a whiff. Oh, I really like the way this one smells. I do have a bigger one of this candle. <laughs> so I should have known who was on here. I definitely knew it was Daughter of the Pirate King. All right, so... Um, this has a really nice, very clean smell. This would be a great um, bathroom candle or kitchen candle to me because it's not, it's not overly floral. So um, very nice, very light, clean scent. This one I recommend. Some of them, they're, they can be really hit or miss. <coughs> I really should do a video. I, I did a kind of like a mass order on a lot of the bookish candles because I had been so impressed with the ones in the box. And... I was not, um, I would say thrilled with some of the scents. I should bring out some in another video. 
and show you. But uh, this one is a good one. So it is the Aries candle. So very nice. You should be happy with that one if you like those nice clean scents. So let's see what else we got going on here. All right. So this is from Hades and Persephone. So it's a jewelry hook wall serpent. I am interested to see this. Oh, it's very pretty. So it's a gold tone. It does have a metallic sheen to it. Um, it's nice. It's very delicate. I mean, it's sturdy though. She's not going to snap in half or anything, but I love that the flowers are printed on there. I think that that's quite nice. Very pretty, very delicate, very kind of unassuming. It's not a, uh, fandom representation. That's like really in your face, but this is quite nice. So if you're somebody who enjoys snakes and floral designs, this is right up your alley. Uh, very nice. Very pretty. So let's see what else we have going on in here. Ooh. The metal bookmarks. I have to say that these are like my favorite newish items that they're doing in the boxes. I think these are just really stellar. So let's see what we got going on here. All right, so it is, they have been doing different finishes. So this is like a nickel plated uh, finish. So we have our little bookish box typewriter, which is super cute. And this is from Kingdom of the Cursed. So this must be Wrath's um, blade from that series but look at how nice look at how pretty look at the cool snake design at the top really cool really nice addition to these blade uh, bookmarks I really like this one I can't wait to figure out how to display those I think I talked earlier about like where they're using like the shadow boxes or the um the ones that have kind of the soft plastic to display coins and I've seen people do them with those and they look great so I think that's probably what I'm going to do as well. Let's see what else we have. A lot of padding in this box. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, we have a jewelry design. Ooh, they went with a different metal. So we have a bit of a rose tone, rose gold sheen to this. It has a, oh, it's from Kingdom of Runes. So we have, looks like some type of eagle or hawk and it has the faces of the moon um, on there. That's kind of pretty. I don't think that I like the rose gold tone because it doesn't really look like real rose gold. So I don't know. It's not like a, it's definitely a pink tone. I would, it's not like a copper finish. I don't know. I don't know about this one. The jewelry items are always hit or miss for me in these boxes. Sometimes they're real winners and other times not so much, but I really do like the uh, jewelry hanger uh, and of course the bookmark. And so here, we have a big box for them. So this is a trope book display. How fun, something new, something different. Ooh, ooh, it's like, it's like a locker. Let's see, how does this work? Let's see if I can figure it out first. That would be a real kicker. All right, okay, so it goes like that. Ooh, so let's see what it says. This is nice, this is metal. Everything on here is metal, no plastic. Great. So the design on here, it says morally gray here on the side. And we have a lovely anatomical heart and some snakes and a cool looking cat up there. Hmm. So there we go. So this is more of a book trope item. So not oop, a specific fandom. And you can adjust this back here. It's adjustable in the back. So that's kind of cool. So if you want it to be more upright or to lean a little bit more, you can definitely adjust that. How fabulous. I love this. I think this is a great display item. So many of us with the special editions, it'd be kind of nice to be able to set out maybe like a new one or one that you found um, particularly relevant in terms of like a morally gray character. What a great way to display it. I really like this item. I think this is very nice. Very cool. This is a high quality item. This is, it's tough. It's going to last. All right. So I think the last item we have is the book. So you guys have heard me talk about how much I really love that they package them in these nice felt bags. Um, I do think like in comparison to a Lumicrate or Fairy Loot that puts them in the little sacks that these are just a little tougher and I appreciate these a little bit better. I feel like that they protect the books more than the very thin material that that Fairy Loot and Lumicrate use for their books. So let's take a look here and we can see the book is in pretty pristine condition. Like I said, these covers are where it's at. I do like these a lot. All right, so the book uh, for this month is Only a Monster by Vanessa Len. 
so we can see. I love the purple. So we see that these, this is just sprayed edges, no stencils this time, but it's like a really deep, like plum purple. So it's not super bright. It's really nice. It'll look really nice if you put it with other kind of like a darker sprayed edge books, like black edge. I think that would look really stunning to kind of pop it out a little bit. It is signed. So we see we have our lovely papers. Oh, and I know that this was something that knew that they were doing. So they did kind of a tipping page um, with the letter from the author. So that, I thought that was a really nice touch. And I like our designs on the inside. So we know that they do a reverse a reversible cover. So let's check that out. So we see that the designs on the naked book, very pretty. The foiling all looks pretty even. All right, very pretty. So let's see. So here we have our reverse art cover, which is also very nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I like it, all of those purple details. So if you do decide to flip it, I like that they have that really kind of intense uh, dark purple is on this side as well as the regular cover. It's not regular, I think the regular cover had shades of red, so they did change the tone um, for the other side. Um, it's hard to say which one I like more. I do like the art, but one of the things that I that they don't do on the reverse covers is they never do any like embossing or foiling. So it always looks kind of um, flat to me, even though the artwork's beautiful. Uh, but like when you look at this cover, because it has these kind of shiny parts or whatever, it just has a little bit more flash. So I always think that that's true um, with a lot of these covers that the the original cover design tends to be a little bit better only for those aspects. Even though the artwork might not be as really cool and unique as the inside cover, it's the finishing aspects that you have shiny and matte portions and the color usage. You know, it's a subjective thing, but it, I'm hard pressed to find a reversible dust jacket that I really love where I'd want to display it that way. But I do love all of the yellow and I think the yellow and purple is always a great combination. So that it was all of the Bookish Box Adult March. Um, so that, like we said, like we saw here. So this included the goodies and the t-shirt. The t-shirt I have to say is a real win. I like that they incorporated more than um, one print color. A lot of them just tend to be kind of scripted and it's just a solid um, colored shirt with just one script color. I like that they did these, these really pretty like almost fall colors with this kind of gold and green. I really like it, very, very pretty. So that is it. And um, as more books start, or more book boxes start rolling in, I will be sure to um, film another one. I know we of course have the, I'm sorry, this was the young adult. I think I said adult, sorry. This was the young adult bookish box March. And so when the adult book comes in, I will do another unboxing for you and we'll take a look at those items. And I think I also have, I also have Fairy Loot and Illumicrate coming this month as well. So lots of fun goodies to be able to share with you as they come in. So I hope you have a nice evening and I hope you enjoy these videos and be able to see some really beautiful.